guys, it's Rob Anderson with Dollar Moves. I'd like to welcome you to another video. So I wanted to make a quick video today. Uh, I know it's been summertime and you know I've been really working the uh, gated categories and having a great time with it. It's really changed my whole um, summertime sales and kicked them up quite a bit. Uh, if you want to learn more about that, I'll put links down below about where I uh, actually was ungated, the ungated services that I use to um, to be able to sell in these uh, in these areas that not everyone can sell and Amazon has to give you the okay to sell in them and so that's been going great I hope your sales have been going good this summer and anything that you're doing to get out there and make money I hope you're doing well in it uh, you know right now is the time where every year you know I, I've gotten less into selling books and use things um, only at certain times of the year, you know, like right now I'm getting ready for textbook season. So I'm out there and I'm hitting up thrift stores and different areas where there's going to be used stuff and uh, just kind of looking for the for the thrift books or excuse me, not thrift books, but the textbooks and things like that. And so while I'm out there, one of the things that I do is that I go and I look, I always have to look at a few different areas. One's going to be the, the old tech kind of stuff, like old office stuff, um, you know, calculators, things like that, things people may not see. But another thing that I do is I always go through the, um, the used toys and I look for different board games and stuff because, um, boy, probably, uh, I don't know when he made it, but Jordan Mallet came out with a book um, I believe at the time it was like 118 toys and games you can buy locally and sell on Amazon and eBay for big profits. He's actually, every year he's um, he's made a new version of it and the people that purchased the original one, they get the updates. And so it's now up to 136 toys and games. But anyway, so that was the first time that I found that you could actually buy used stuff and sell it on Amazon. You have to sell it as collectible. It has to be things that... Um, are not being made right now and so but you can actually sell used on Amazon so that for me was really cool and since I was already out there buying books at the time I was really heavy in books um, I would you know it's just a natural thing to go right there so anyway now when I'm out there and I'm looking for my textbooks for the textbook season um, you know I always go and I, I look for the board games and different um, different toys and stuff and one tip I want to give you is Always look for stuff that's wrapped up because there's new there's things that are out there that are new that were just taken to the uh, thrift stores and you know they're they're brand new they've never been open some things you've got to watch out for because like Goodwill will actually um, put new shrink wrap on on different things so uh, you really have to watch out for that they'll usually put a sticker but other thrift store you know other places you just just look for that shrink wrap original shrink wrap and another tip with that is that a lot of them will have perforation holes in the shrink wrap. Um, as a new thing and you can look at the edges and see that they're very uh, they're very defined they, they look very professional um, so those are just a couple things but anyway so the other day I'm looking for my textbooks and I'm out there and I just happened to stumble across something that I thought was pretty cool so these are a couple of like be on the lookout for as far as uh, as board games or are concerned now again if you want to learn about this um, Jordan Malik has that book 136 plus toys and games you can buy locally and sell on Amazon and eBay for big profits. And you can find out more about that at dollarmoves.com forward slash resell toys. That will take you over to the sales page. You can take a look at his stuff. And then also, if you go to dollarmoves.com, click on the FBA info, and then go down to, I believe it's 125 plus toys and games. That will, uh, you click on that, that'll have, I have a couple of videos in there, two or three, that show like when I've been out looking for games and the times that I've talked about his guide and things like that. So anyway, those are two different places you can um, look. I don't believe that either of these games are in the guide. So it's a bolo, so it's something you can look for. Um, one, I was just like, this has to be a game that is something that is going to be worth something because it's so obscure and it's so wild and you'll see right now I'm going to show you. So, let me take this off. Actually, my daughter puts these on here She when she has them. This is called Stoner City. <laughs> ah, dude. But anyway, so it's like Monopoly for stoners, I guess. And it says the game of owners and stoners. And I just thought, you know, with with all the legalization of marijuana and stuff going on right now, that something like this is going to be just awesome. So 
I bought it for $1.99. See, my daughter, she looks through, makes sure all the pieces are in there. That's one of the things you have to do with Amazon. But she looks through, makes sure all the pieces are in there, so it says it's all accounted for, and she's got the price on here. Now, it's had a $1.99 price on there, but it is actually 50% off. So I bought this game, and I'm like, I know, I, I mean, I had to pick it up and take a look at it. So let me scan that real quick. All right, I've actually got my phone ready and my scanner. Let me find the barcode. There it is. Okay. So, Stoner City board game. Now, the rank is 389,000. That's expected because I don't think there's a lot of these out there. I've never seen this before. And I don't think it's really made for the kids, even though it's in the uh, toy category. Now, here's what we got. We got used very good at $80. Good is $105. And then an FBA at $89.99. New. Now, again, I paid... Um, I paid the, uh, let's see, get on there, guy. I paid a dollar for it, so, um, I will probably like to try and get the closer to, you know, like, probably $79.99 or something like that. I may even go a little higher and wait for Christmas, because that's another tip. This kind of stuff is great where you don't have to put out a lot of money, and people eat them up. Every Christmas, I have these board games, and people love them at Christmas time. So for my dollar investment, I can wait until quarter four and let them sit at Amazon's warehouse. And if they sell, great. And if they don't, then, um, you know, I can wait for Christmas. I mean, it's not that far away. And it's really cool when you have a stockpile of stuff at Amazon and it all unloads during Christmas or a lot of it. So now the next one I have, I'm not sure if it... Again, it's the obscure games. It's the weird stuff that kind of draws my attention. And I don't know if this one's in um, Jordan Malik's guide, 136 plus toys and games you can buy locally and sell on Amazon and eBay for big profits. But this one's called Trailer Park Wars. Now, this is another one where it says $2.99 for the price, but I got it for half price. So $1.50. And then, um, let's see what this one is. This one is, as I was telling you, it's got the shrink wrap on it. It's brand new. And so it hasn't been opened. All the corners, everything looks good on it. It looks just like if you got it from the store. So all it's gonna be all it's gonna need for my side is to clean up the, you know, just use some glass clean on the shrink wrap and call it good. So let's see here. This one is Trailer Park Wars is nineteen thousand nine hundred and sixty-nine rank. And it's selling new for $22. $22.63 is the buy box right now. And $23.33 is the next FBA. Let's see if this will... I don't know why my camera does not like to show you. But so that's what we got on Trailer Park Wars. Now again, that's a $1.50 investment. It's something that if it doesn't sell quickly, but at a rank of $19,000, it's probably going to sell pretty quick. But if it doesn't sell quickly, it's going to sell during Christmas, I'm pretty sure. So... That's the cool thing. So for my investment there of $2.50, I mean, I have a potential like, I have a potential of $100 or more from that. So, you know, and that's not even, that was a secondary thing. That's not, I'm doing textbooks. That's why I was there was textbooks. So I'm there to make my money on textbooks, but there's the games and stuff that you can, uh, you can go and always look at because they're sitting over there. You might as well look at them. If you're garage selling, people do not see value in board games and, and used games and used stuff. They think it's used and it's garbage. And on Amazon, there are tons of people that are looking for these things. I mean, think about it. If you're looking for a certain game you grew up with or something like that, and you want to find it, and it's from the 70s or the 80s or whatever, and you're like, I want to find this game, and they're not making it anymore, where are you going to go? You go to Amazon. You go to Amazon, you look online, and if you're the only one sitting there and there's no one else selling that game, you can ask a premium for it. So, again, th I, this isn't something that I spend a lot of time on, but think about that. I probably spent, to find these games, because now I just kind of search them with my eyes um, and, and see what looks good to me, and then I'll scan whatever. Uh, I'm a little more picky about what, but I probably spent looking total... I walked away from where I was maybe 15 minutes. So if I get 100 bucks off of that and it costs me a few bucks to send it in Amazon, I mean, really, the return on that is great because that's, again, not even my main focus when I was out there. And, I mean, you can do all kinds of stuff, plush toys, different things. But, again, the used toys, it's awesome. If you're looking to do something like that, now is the time to get out there. Get out there to the garage sales, the thrift stores, etc., 
and start looking for those board games because people don't see value in them. They think if it's not a video game or if it's not some new thing, you know, then it's not worth anything. And they're sadly mistaken, and you can start figuring that out too if you go on to Amazon and just start looking at board games and stuff. But if you want to learn more and see some of the actual games and toys and things that, that Jordan's already researched, you can go to the uh, dollarmoves.com forward slash resell toys, and, um, and that will take you to the sales page to the 136 plus toys and games you can buy locally and sell on Amazon and eBay for big profits. And again, you can see all the videos. I'll throw this video on there too. If you go to dollarmoves.com, click on the FBA info um, tab, and then it will take you to the page where I have all the information products that I recommend. You click on the 125 toys and games. That was the previous version, and it will have all the videos and stuff, so you can watch all those there too. So again, I hope you guys are having a great summer. I hope you're killing it out there. Um, yeah, it's been, for me, this has been an awesome summer. I'm looking ready to get, you know, get ramped up here for quarter four. Things are going great. I hope they're going great for you. Uh, you know, I, uh, I'll be putting out more videos here in the future, so keep an eye out. And, uh, yeah, if you haven't already, at dollarmoves.com, I know that's where you're watching this right now, make sure you sign up for the email newsletter, and that way I'll contact you anytime I put out any new videos or if I come across something that I think you can find value in or that will save you money. So, again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next video. Take care.